Hello, wizards, witches, and everyone in between. My name is Emma, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Hi, guys. So, editing Emma here. I just wanted to preface that this vlog is very chaotic, very all over the place. I was trying to attempt to vlog um, weekly in October, and I'm sure as you can tell from the videos I've been uploading in October, I have not succeeded in that. This is a compilation of clips that I put together from when I would attempt to start a vlog and then not finish it, and then restart one the next week and not finish that, and I kind of like the way it turned out. I like watching people's vlogs even when they're not like they don't succeed at reading what they wanted to read. This vlog spans like three weeks, so okay, enjoy. Today is currently Tuesday the 8th. I'm about to go to work in like an hour and a half, so I was going to read for a little bit. What am I reading this week? Good question. So at the moment, uh, I am currently listening to Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I have forgotten most of the story. I have read this before, but it's been a really, really long time. So I'm listening to that. I'm really, really loving it. Because I think last time I read it, I was younger than all of them. And so now, like, being older, I don't know. I mean, they are, like, teens, all of the sisters, but they just... I don't know, like, Joe and Meg... I can relate to them despite being older than them so I'm really really loving that I think I'm 25% of the way through that and then physically I am currently reading The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern the Page Dwellers Book Club this was our pick for October and I am on page 150 out of like 500 ish so I still have a ways to go, but 150 pages in, I still can't really give you like a synopsis of it because all the back really says is like, you know, there's a circus that comes to town with no notice and I'm like, that sounds really cool. And one of the plot lines does have that built in there, but there's like three perspectives and then it also jumps forward and backward in time. So it really... It takes a lot of focus to read this, so I can't really binge read it. I don't know if that... I'm sure you guys can relate to that, where, like, you're liking a book, but it's still... It's just not one of those ones you want to read for, like, long periods of time. So I'm slowly working my way through this. I am enjoying it, but I'm not really connecting with any of the characters. But the writing and the atmosphere is, like, unbelievable. <laughs> so atmospheric. I absolutely love that. So that's kind of what's saving this book for me, since I don't really connect with any of the characters yet, but we'll see. I am also reading The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. This is a vampire story, which I have not read one of these uh, probably in close to 10 years now. This came out in 2013, which is odd because I love Holly Black. She was like a huge part of my childhood with the Spiderwick series. So it is odd I haven't read this because tr I try to read most things by her, but I don't know how I feel about this so far. I'm on page 50. I thought by now I would have a better sense of like how like the vampires work because you know in like some books, you know, vampires have different rules and things like that. So I'm still not sure like how exactly the va whole vampire thing works and how someone gets turned into a vampire versus doesn't. And I also am not sure how cold towns work for sure. So 50 pages in, I kind of expected to have a better understanding of like how this world functions, but that's okay because I still love it. I really like Holly Black's writing and I really like her characters. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of the opposite. The problems I'm having with this are what I love about the Night Circus and vice versa. So yeah, those are the two books that I wanna try and finish. This week, I'm just in one of those moods where I want to, like, start a bunch of books, but I'm like, I need to slow down. What's the head of my reading vlog? Soft reading vlog. You get this shirt. That's when you transition. 
so I haven't read anything today. Roast beef. <laughs> but this is the reason why. I hang out with a friend today. Oh, sorry. And Don't blame me. I am now I'm at Target. And I have my dad's old oversized sweater, so it's time to party. <laughs> Thursday and I only got that small clip yesterday I didn't actually read anything yesterday because uh, I went and hung out with my friend Sarah and then I got my flu shot uh, I was about to say if you don't know but you don't know because I haven't uh, talked about it but um, I hate getting shots for some reason like I don't enjoy it but I'm not I'm not scared of getting blood drawn and like, I don't have a problem obviously with like tattoos. So it's not like needles, it's like specifically getting a shot. I hate it. And I got my flu shot last fall also. And I remember like right after I got it last year, I was like, okay, like I did it. We got this, we conquered it. Well, let me tell you, um, I had to reconquer it yesterday because I just think it's one of those things that I'm never gonna not feel incredibly anxious about, but it's something that you gotta do. I'm very proud of myself, but my arm is sore where they gave me the shot and like feeling like where it's like specifically sore, like deep in my arm makes me wanna uh, die. So I'm trying not to think about it and I'm also trying not to move my arm too much because that really grosses me out and I hate that. I did go to the library yesterday and I can't re I wish I remembered. I think it was on someone's Insta story though, so it's probably gone. But someone that I follow on Bookstagram, which uh, my Bookstagram is always linked down below, by the way. I'm trying to get better about posting regularly on it. Someone I was following posted a story of them reading this graphic novel series called Giant Days. And just the picture they had posted of it, like of some part on the inside, it just looked really cool and so I looked it up and I liked the premise. It's like these girls and they're like college adventures. A lot of the graphic novels I've read, um, the main character is younger than me. So anyway, uh, I went a little crazy and I checked out the first eight volumes of this. <laughs> for some reason, like 10 was too many for me to justify, but eight was fine. Cindy, say hi to the vlog. Okay, I finally, picked up this like our second bedroom that has my two bookcases i used to film in front of this one and then it has like a like a trundle day bed thing um for when we have guests over which i use as like a a little reading nook you know cozy reading spot so finally picked this room up i do i think after october my my arm is getting tired help me i'm weak after october i do I think I want to start filming in here again and I want to reorganize my bookcase if I'm gonna do that so I think I might do like a bookshelf reorganization video because I need to do that anyway <laughs> like I need to reorganize anyway and I love watching those so I'm hoping I can figure out a way to film that and then do like a bookshelf tour yeah that's an update on <laughs> my filming background I guess um, not that you cared but now you know I'm trying to figure out if I should do rainbow shelves or or genre or just like aesthetics I don't know leave it a comment down below how you organize your bookshelves I've mostly done rainbow but rainbow can get really hard especially the fact that a lot of the books I have are white and black so I'm wondering if I should just you know go by what looks cute together I don't know or height size <sighs> earlier this week as you all know the 
prequel, the title of the Hunger Games prequel came out and the cover and I'm very excited. I don't care about the cover. I don't know why everyone's pissed about it. I think it matches the old ones. It's very, you know, vintage 2010 looking and I love that. It has made me want to kind of develop a little Hunger Games bookshelf, even just like half of a bookshelf because I have an entire Harry Potter bookshelf. So I have a lot of Harry Potter stuff. The only Hunger Games things I have are the books, <laughs> the original like US hardcover books, and then I have a Mockingjay pin and that's it. And the Hunger Games in a lot of ways I like as much as Harry Potter. It doesn't have the nostalgia like childhood factor that Harry Potter has, but um, I honestly love it just as much. And so I would really love to have like a Hunger Games shelf. So I'm slowly but surely gonna start kind of developing that. I think it's mainly gonna come from <laughs> Christmas time. I was at a used bookstore last weekend and I found this. And this is a out of print UK edition of The Hunger Games, which apparently is very difficult to find now, obviously, because they still, they don't make it. I think it was discontinued in like, 2011. Very weird to find a UK edition of The Hunger Games in a US bookstore. So I'm gonna add this to my little collection and then for $2.50 I found this which is basically I just love the cover like I want that like faced out in the middle of my Hunger Games shelf but it's basically just kind of like a photo tour of the first movie and it has like certain sections like back here yeah people of the capital and then it has like a quote and then it has you know people of the capital like fall winter time always just i always get in such a hunger games mood let me know if you guys are excited for the hunger games prequel uh hunger games stands you know we gotta stick together i got home like an hour and a half ago and you know where you're just like, I'm gonna read, and then you do everything but read. That's what I did. I'm so tired. I was gonna read <coughs> one of the two books that I'm currently supposed to be reading, but I think literally all I have left in me is a graphic novel. So I think I'm gonna read volume one of this. I really hope I like it since I have eight volumes. <laughs> morning I just sneezed 50 times in a row but uh hello we also switched around our internet so uh, I can't figure out how to get our wireless printer to connect to our new internet and print and I need to print out the uh, homework answer key if I'm supposed to grade the things that I need to grade today for my job so that's gonna be fun. So I ended up uh, doing chores and things forever today. I just have those days where I'm like, I would be so much less stressed and so much less anxious right now if my apartment was like clean, you know? Like tidy, clean, just looking really, really nice. So I was like, I might as well just do that today. I have been grading. I did figure the printer thing out. I'm very proud of myself. I figured it out on my own. I did finish Giant Days Volume 1 last night. I realized I forgot to update you guys. I I liked it. I didn't love it, but I do really like the characters and the illustrations are pretty and I'm definitely like interested in reading Volume 2.
great when you try to take a nap at 6.30 at night and it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm just so like sluggish, so I don't know if I'm gonna read anything today. We'll see, this might end up being like a fairly longer vlog. Um, Cause I would like to finish some books in this vlog, so I might keep this going longer than um, a week, but um, I'll show you Cindy cause she's a lot cuter than I am. She absolutely loves this blanket. It's a heated blanket, but she sleeps in it all the time. Like even when it's not turned on. So it's just a normal blanket. So I haven't even read anything today, but I just wanted to come on here because I wanted to flex my eye makeup, okay? I've also had it on all day, so that's why I'm shiny. But I'm serving some Slytherin looks today and I love it. So anyway, okay, that's it. Hopefully I'll read soon, bye. So editing Emma is back. That's where my vlog ends. So hello hair. So I thought I'd jump on here and do a quick outro. So I did make more progress in the night circus. I'm now on page 299. That's where I'm at with that. Honestly, my thoughts on it are still the same. I think, this is Cindy's butt by the way. I think the writing and the atmosphere are what's saving this for me right now. I can't, I don't, still don't really know the characters. There's this whole plot line of having two magicians like have a competition with each other and that's gotten so dragged out that I kind of don't care anymore. But there is a romance now and I kind of like that. So that's where I'm at with this. It's kind of sitting at like a 2.5. I did not make any more progress on the coldest girl in cold town. I guess I kind of soft DNF'd it. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I was feeling very mood reedy this month. <laughs> so that's fun. I finished listening to Little Women. I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really, really liked it. The only issue that I had with it was the fact that it was very like, let me teach you something a lot, which I get, you know, it's like, well, you know, Joe, that's what women must do. We must blah, 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 blah. So it's like teaching you how to act in proper society back in the day. But I just kind of found that to be a little bit annoying. Um, but other than that, I absolutely loved it. So I'm really glad I reread it. Very excited for the movie. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this hot mess and I will see you next time. Bye!